This is my empty table with nothing on it but a duck car thing. But by the end of this video, my table will have a massive water park on it with water slides, a lazy river, more water slides, and many other things. So let's get to building. First thing I did was lay out a bunch of base plates. Then I used some of these tile pieces to connect all the base plates together. And now this is what we're going to be building our water park on. So I start by grabbing this Lego Friends water park set and we're going to be using it in the water park. I'm just kidding, I won't be using this. Now I want to go to a real Lego water park to get some inspiration on how to build my water park. Uh, yeah, it was closed. Starting right here in the front, I want to build the entrance to the water park. So I bought a bunch of tile pieces off of Bricklink and I used them as the flooring to the entrance of the park. But I left three spots for some details we're going to add in just a little bit. And then right here, we're going to build the entrance. So I built a giant pole and put it on the right side of the entrance. And I put another one that looks like a mini mountain on the left. I also added two palm trees to it just to give it some extra detail. Now for the top of the entrance, I want to use some water slide pieces because duh, it's a water park. I attached it to both poles and now the entrance is almost finished. I added some leaf pieces onto the water slide to give it an overgrown look. But now right here, I want to build a shark water fountain. So I bought some transparent blue tile pieces as water. Then I got the rest of the pieces for the fountain. I connected the pieces together and then attached it to the floor. Then I grabbed this pole which goes in the middle of the fountain. And last but not least, I got the shark. I connected the shark to the fountain. And now we have a shark statue fountain in front of the entrance. In both of these spots, I want to add more palm trees. So I built two palm trees, added this planter in, and then attached both palm trees into it. And now with these palm trees, it just makes it look a lot better. So I built the same thing on the other side. And now the front to the water park is almost complete. I just need to add fencing to each side so no one can break into the water park. And then I placed some rocks next to the entrance. Wait, who is this guy? And why is he working with the evil mastermind Jeff? The guy that stole the silver piece. Well, I think it's time for a backstory. This is Levi. He owns a hot dog truck and every morning he parks his truck and gets ready for customers to come. He puts on his hat and he's ready to serve some customers. Since Levi was a kid, he's always dreamed of building his own water park on this property where he sells his hot dogs. And the property is owned by a man named Mr. Woodlock. Oh, hello there. Levi has always wanted to make enough money to buy the property from Mr. Woodlock to build his own water park. So he sells hot dogs, trying to save up enough money to buy the property to build his own water park. Hey, who wants burgers? This is Drake, Levi's biggest competitor. Every time Levi tries to sell his hot dogs, Drake always comes in and steals all of his customers. And makes all of the money. So Levi knew he would probably never build the water park he dreamed of. Oh, hello, my name is Jeff number 172. This is a Jeff clone, who recently just got launched into space in another video because he wasn't subscribed to our channel. And now we fell back down to earth right in front of Levi's hot dog stand. Uh, hi? Did you just come out of the sky? Oh, I was just recently launched into space because I wasn't subscribed to a YouTube channel. It's fine. I've heard you want to build a water park. Uh, how do you know that? Oh, I have my ways. Oh, I might just have a couple billion dollars. How do you have that much money? Let me tell you, my old boss named Jeff, he has a lot of money from winning a competition. He's kind of gone rogue, so I don't think he needs his money anymore. Well, we could use it to build your water park. Well, all right, let's do it. So Levi and the Jeff clone drove off to Mr. Woodlock. And using the money in the real Jeff's bank account, they bought the property. But now because they own the property, they can kick Drake off of it. And now Levi and Jeff number 172 can build the ultimate water park. And that is why they are building this. Now the next thing I want to build is a pool right over here. So I grabbed this blue base plate or tried to. Dry. And now this is going to be the water for the pool. I bought some white tile pieces and used them to build the layout of the pool. But this water looks pretty basic. I want it to look a little bit more like water. So I kicked Levi and the Death Clone out of the pool. And I bought a bunch of transparent blue studs, which I'll be using as water. But I will be trying out real water on a different attraction later in the video. I added more tiles around the pool. And now right to the left of the pool, I'm going to build our first water slide. So I got all the water slide pieces we're going to be using in this water park. I'm just kidding. I got a ton more. I spent a ton of money on this video, so please consider subscribing.
I'm gonna be using these two pieces to build the water slide and I also bought a bunch of these cylinder pieces which are gonna be the supports for all of the water slides. I built up and placed down two supports then I attached the water slide pieces onto them and added a ladder in the back and now our first water slide of the water park is finished and it works. Usually next to every pool there is seating so I added two chairs and a table so minifigures can get some rest right after swimming in the pool. Next thing I did was add a couple trees around the pool just to give it a little bit more life. Then I built the pathway from the entrance all the way to the pool. That means our first part of the water park is finished. But the pool was pretty expensive and they were starting to lose money. Oh, never mind. They're good. The next attraction I want to build is racing water slides. I'm going to build it on this base plate right behind the pool. I started by laying out the pool, and then right here is where the slides are going to go. So I got all the supports in place for the water slides, then I attached a row of six different water slides. Yet again, I poured out a bunch of transparent blue pieces as the water, then I built this red and green light that goes on top of the water slide to tell people when and when not to go. Now that means our second water park attraction, the water slides, are now complete. It's time for our third attraction, which is going to be right behind the racing water slides. I'm going to be building a very, very tall spiral water slide. I will also be testing real water in it. Because the racing water slides are kind of blocking it, I'm going to move it out of the way for now. This will be the pool where the minifigures fall into after the water slide. So I grabbed our transparent blue tile pieces and laid out the water. Now it's time for the support beam. Now that's pretty tall, but not tall enough. That's more like it. Next thing I did was attach all the spiral water slide pieces together. I also added a platform on the top. And now we have this really tall spiral water slide. But now I'm going to test real water on this water slide. So I started pouring the water on the water slide. It didn't really work. I now have water all over my table, so I need to clean it all up. I think I'm going to stick with our transparent blue studs as water. I added some trees and plants around the water slide, and now that means our third attraction, the spiral water slide, is done. Which means now we can bring back in the racing water slide. Now it was starting to get a little dark, and Jeff and Levi were really tired. So they decided to get some rest and get back to work the next day. And they went to sleep in the truck in probably not the most comfortable way, but it had to do. <sighs> All right, back to work. Hello? Now, Levi and Jeff, number 172, wanted to work on this side of the water park. So I'm going to move their hot dog truck out of the way. So they started building a path to the next attraction, which is the kids zone. So I laid out the floor, and I also put two water pieces into the ground to make a splash pad. I also added this spinning water gun to shoot all your friends with. I added this thing. Then Levi and Jeff, number 172, added in the play structure. I added another water gun on top of the play structure. And finally, I added two water water slides. I put down some more trees and bushes, and now the kids play structure is finished. Now right next to the kids play structure, I want to build a baby pool. And because it's a baby pool, I'm going to be using Duplo. Yep, you can actually attach normal Lego pieces to Duplo. So I used these Duplo pieces around the pool. I also found this scary looking thing. I attached a Duplo flower for decoration, and also a mini slide into the pool. And finally, our water studs for the pool. Obviously, I needed to put in more trees and bushes. And now, this attraction, the baby pool, is complete. The next attraction we're going to be working on is going to be right behind this. And it will be a surf riding thing. I don't know the name of them. So I built this wave using transparent studs. And now all I need to do is just put on my minifigure riding a surfboard. And then we can add it right here. And now the surf rider attraction is done. Now Levi and Jeff number 172 knew they needed to bring food to the park. Or else people will starve and leave the park. So Levi brought in his hot dog truck. And there you have it. Now we have food in the park. I will be adding more food a little bit later. But they want to start working on the next attraction. Which is going to be a giant lazy river in the back right corner. To start, I used a bunch of tile pieces to outline the entire lazy river. But in the middle of the lazy river, I want to put two water slides. But that also means I need a bridge so minifigures can get to the island. Now here are the two slides that are going in the middle of the lazy river. I built little pools at the bottom of the slides. <laughs> He'll be fine. I put white tiles throughout the mini island, and I finished the island off with a bunch of trees and bushes. Now we need to add water to the lazy river. And here is the lazy river all complete. This is probably my favorite build so far. But we can't forget about one last thing. The ducky floaties. I got some pink ones and some yellow ones. And now minifigures can ride the lazy river in duck floaties. Now with the lazy river done, we can go on to one of our biggest attractions, the mountain. 
On this mountain, I added two tube slides going down it. I will also be adding a third slide in just a little bit. But the mountain looks pretty basic. I want to decorate it a little bit. So I attached a bunch of plants and leaves onto the mountain, and now it looks a lot better. But I'm going to install a third water slide onto the mountain. And there you go. Now we have three water slides on the mountain. But we obviously need a pool at the bottom of the mountain. So I laid out the pathway. And then I poured in our blue water studs. I also built another pool for the third water slide. Now before we open the park, there's still some things we need. Like a bathroom. I can take off the top to see what's inside. And there's a sink and a toilet. Oh, someone's on there. Sorry. I also wanted to add this little aquarium. It has a little turtle and a fish in it. I placed it right here. Now some of these rides might not be that safe. So I got a lifeguard tower and a bunch of lifeguards so they can make sure everyone is safe going down the water slides. I also put the lifeguard tower back here. Then I got some carts like a balloon cart, a popsicle cart, an ice cream cart, and a pretzel cart. I put them all throughout the water park. I also got a juice stand, which I put back here. Then I got a slushy truck. And somehow Levi hired Drake to come sell his bird burgers at the water park. So I put the burger truck and the slushy truck right here. Then I added some small extra details like some more surfboards for the surf rider, a box of life jackets, a baby turtle that escaped the aquarium, some random parrot for no reason at all. I also added trash cans around the park. Then I added a bunch of trees and bushes throughout the park. We're just missing one more thing before we can open the park. A ticket booth. So people can buy their tickets to enter the park. And now with our water park fully complete, we can have people start coming to the park. And they can buy their tickets at the ticket booth. And now they can have a fun time at the water park, riding the slides, having ultimate water fights, surfing waves, relaxing in the lazy river, get some food, and also lose your hair on water slides. So now with the water park finished, Levi can get back to what he always does, selling hot dogs. Well, Jeff number 172, thanks for helping me. Oh, no problem. Also, the name Jeff number 172 doesn't really work. Are you okay with me calling you Jeffrey instead? Oh, sure. I like that a lot better, actually. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I still need to do. I need to hit that subscribe button. And that is how Levi built his dream water park with his new best friend Jeffrey. Thanks for watching.